religion is the biggest religion uh, in India. We had a whole lot of foreign inv invaders coming in. So we have a lot of cultural influences in our religion, food, social customs and so on. The religion itself is uh, based on ahimsa, which means non-violence. That means that you don't take another life for your own pleasure, which is why most Hindu people are vegetarians. Some are so strict that they won't even eat an egg. They mostly live on lentils, vegetables, paneer, which is the Indian cheese. These things are full of protein, fiber, minerals, you know, all the nutrients are there. So you, even if you don't eat meat, it really doesn't matter. There is an economic side to why people are vegetarian as well. Some people can't afford meat and fish. There is another reason for certain people to be vegetarian who are the widows. As soon as their husbands die, they give up eating meat and fish. The highest caste in the Hindu religion, the Brahmins, they are vegetarians but they eat fish because they believe fish is a gift of nature. So they don't think that there's any harm in eating fish. country full of festivals. We have 13 major festivals in 12 months and there are little small ones as well. The biggest festival is Diwali which is also known as the festival of lights. To welcome Brahma people lit oil lamps all over their homes on the streets. Also on the same day we worship Goddess Lakshmi who is the Goddess of Wells and you will see no home in the dark on that day because it's a belief that Lakshmi never enters a dark home so they want Lakshmi Ji to enter their home so they will be blessed with you know events and the food that we eat of course uh, is vegetarian there's a salad which is made of uh, skinless mung beans or moon beans um, and coconut and diced cucumber that was supposed to be Rama's favorite food, so that's made on Diwali day. And lots of savory things. There's a big tradition of exchanging sweets between families and friends in Diwali. So you are kind of distributing goodwill. Onam is a big major festival in South India. That is celebrated with a lot of pageantry attached to it because you have elephants dressed up with ornamental clothing, jewelry, snakes shaped boats, they hang gold coins on those. And the significance of that is apparently to welcome this ancient king called Mahave who once upon a time ruled Kerala, which is our spice island. It is where all our spices are grown. To celebrate the good times with him and also to welcome him back once a year, they celebrate Ona. The Holi, which is the spring festival of color, to celebrate the childhood pranks of Lord Krishna, Hindu Lord Krishna. Apparently, he used to like playing with colored water. A celebration, you know, so the Holi time. Streets, people set up stalls, the snacks, and there's music, cars, and they also drink alcohol. Otherwise, alcohol is not permitted during any religious festivals. 